Welcome Leo. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Lover's Oracle. Okay, so, well, just flying out everywhere. Uh, one more card. We've already got two cards. Okay, um, so I haven't even finished what, what, like, what I was going to say. And your cards are already like, speak. Speak to me. Okay, Leo. Um, what was I saying? Okay, so first off, this could be in romantic relationships. Sure, pretty obvious, right? Um, could also be in friendships. It could be work relationships. It could be with family. Um, whatever, whatever is going on in your life, apply it um, to yourself as you see fit. Okay, so this card here, look at this, is beautiful. Give thanks. See, this is like, I feel like just with this in nature here, giving thanks for what is around you already, what is what is authentically in your life, okay, what you, what you have, give, have gratitude for every little thing that you have in your life already, you know, um, okay, so, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way, know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires, oh, that's so nice, Leo, okay, so, two cards, for this card, for Leo, please, there's no title on it. See, this is it, you know, giving thanks for what is coming your way. So it's really getting into that space of feeling that, right? Because when you feel that, it opens you up in order to receive it, okay? So peacock, raise your standards. Accept nothing less, right? Make sure that you are um, accepting... The respect, um, and the honour, I feel like I want to say, that you deserve, okay, um, that there aren't people around you who are manipulating you, okay, we've got peacock here, and I've noticed these two peacocks coming together here, this is about you getting out of your head and allowing something to actually come together, um, because these peacocks are coming around her head, okay, and it's sort of like, regardless of what is going on in here, when you come into your heart, that allows the truth to be spoken. And I want to say, speak your truth from your heart. Not from your mind, but from your heart, right? And maybe this is where the standard is. You know, it's when you drop into your heart, you raise your standards naturally. Because you're raising your frequency. So you're not going to uh, tolerate anything less than what you would when you were coming from your heart. Okay, so tell me more about Peacock for Leo, please. Got three cards here. Glimpse. Got Glimpse. Root. Currents. Okay, I feel like, Leo, this is saying the fight is over. You don't have to fight anymore. You can go with the flow, okay? There's been quite a portion of your life where you've had to really... Um, what's the word? Struggle is the wrong word. Fight... Hmm. I don't know if fight is the right word either. I feel like there's been a lot of um, barriers that you've come up against in order for you to grow. You know, it's been work. It's been work for you to get to where you are. And it's been work that you have applied to yourself in order to get to to actually have the, the tree of life growing as such. So that you can harvest from it. You've had to work real hard for that. I want to say here that the currents, um, you've done the hard work. And so now it's a matter of surrendering. Surrendering to where life takes you. Okay. And I feel like for some of you, 
that could be the case that you feel like you do surrender, but there's still this element of control around that. Um, I'll surrender if it goes in this direction or that direction, okay? And so it really is a matter of, um, of making sure that you completely and utterly give everything to the universe to control. Yeah. Dragon, discover your courage. You see, yeah. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Leo, Leo, Leo. How do I put into words what I'm being shown here? Leo, there's been certain connections in your life that you have had that you have felt that you've had to maintain in order for you to get to a particular place, okay? Um, it's understanding here that those connections... Um, Are not necessary to get you to where you're going. All that is necessary here, Leo, is you. Um, you actually believing that you have the ability single-handedly to get to where you're going. You don't need, you don't actually need To walk on the path with anyone else in order to get to, you, to reach your goals, in order to reach your dreams. You don't need to. Sure, there will be people that you choose to take on the path with you. But you don't need particular people to reach your destination. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to happen anyway, Leo. Okay, so Dragon, tell me more about Dragon, please. The Leo. Yep. Exactly what I was thinking. Yep. Decay and Reverie. I think that's how I say it. Re reverie. 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 Yep. Um, there's, there's something that's, um, that's dying. In your life in the sense of um, a situation okay and um, I want to say that it's actually brought about a transformation for you there's been quite a large transformation um, from this situation that had, has happened in your life and now you can let that go and propel forward dream big dream big Okay, don't limit yourself. When you are trying to manifest, not trying, but when you are manifesting, don't limit yourself. Don't have an idea in mind as to what that looks like. And this is where I think it would be difficult for you to go with the currents. This is about this control thing, right? Because it's, it's easier to manifest when we have a picture in mind of what that looks like. But when we have to let go of that picture and manifest anyway, that can be a, a bit more tricky. Okay. Leo, look at this card here. Surrender. Hello. Hello. At times we must surrender the old. Before, yep, we must surrender the old, right? Before something new can enter our lives, let go and all will work out. What else do you say? Okay, so. Mm. One more card for Surrender for Leo. One more card. Yep, there it is. There it is. Okay, so the first card here is Face Your Fears. Release the power of fear. Release the power of fear. 
Okay, so two cards for release the power of fear. And the fear is the unknown, right? Yeah. Opportunity. Yeah, because there's opportunities for you, for you to leap, to, to level up. Okay, there's an opportunity for you to level up. It's the fear that is holding you back here, right? And the fear is a mere illusion. There is, it's nothing more, nothing less. It's an illusion. Making you believe that there's something there when there isn't. There's something to be feared when there is nothing to be feared. False expectations appearing real, right? Um, part of this can be a, a protection. Um, but I honestly don't feel like you need that. Not with this dragon card here, right? Because the courage that you have within, you don't need the protection because you're going to get to where you need to go anyway. Vacation. Look at this. Okay. Take time for relaxation and adventure. Yep. For sure. There's been a transformation in your life, like I said with the decay card. There's been a transformation in your life. The fear is heavy, okay? The fear will stop the carpet, the magic carpet, from flying, okay? So it's important for you to release that because she sits on here only with these roses, which is the garden that she's growing for herself, okay? Um, not out of fear, because if where that was out of fear, those would be weeds, but they're roses. This is out of belief. This is from her surrendering. Because what grows the roses? The elements, right? Natural, authentic. The sunshine, the rain, even the wind, right? So, you know, uh, yeah, surrender. Um, look at this. What does it say? Cocoon stage. Yeah, see, there's a transformation that is about to transpire. Okay, we have the fruit of knowledge here which I absolutely adore. I adore this because this was, where's this card here, right? These apples, right, are actually full of knowledge. All these apples contain knowledge. So do the leaves, so do the branches, especially the roots. The roots know more than any other part of this tree what it has had to endure to get to where it needed to be, right? And you don't think that you can get to your destination when you've been doing this? Come on. Come on, Leo. Really? Have faith in yourself. Right? Have faith in yourself. Next card here. Look at this. Have a look at this. Let me have a look at it. Yeah, look at this. Like, there's so many connections in life, right? So many way things are connected. Any, so many ways things are connected. So engrossed in the card that I can't even say my words properly. But it's not always obvious to us. It's not always clear. Anyway, let's have a look. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Go with the flow, right? The currents. There's still this element of control. And it's from this. Okay, so what are we doing here? We need these cards here. Okay, so tell me more about this. Life is a series of constantly changing cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Okay, so. Okay, so we have, um, wow, well, I just, for some reason looked at the bottom of the deck here and it says go with the flow i don't often look at the bottom of the deck let things happen okay creative wonderment follow your passion yeah look at this look at this i love that the piano is there for some of you this is about music what else do we have here 
we have the flowers which is this natural garden that we create for ourselves right this is about the music of your life what kind of tune do you want your life to be what kind of medley or melody what kind of words do you want in that song right oh, wow 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 i don't know why i'm getting so many cards and i really only needed two but i feel like i need to take all these we've got crossroads here first came out you add a crossroads ready to go in one direction or the other okay and some of you may have already made that choice as to which direction you're going in some of you are still about to make that choice okay the next card we have here is light look at this look at this in the center here is pure light this is this passion this is this igniting this passion within you following your passion right following your passion look at this here shadow and this these ring fingers here are down see again with my words already the ring fingers are down this is about you opening up this is about you healing in order to open up to what it is that is there for the taking for you okay because some of you are closed off it's like there's just one more step there's one more step that you need to take to complete what it is that you want to complete in your life in order for you to truly propel forward. It's kind of like, oh, well, I'll just sort all this as like having a house, right? It's having a house. Say like you're painting on the inside of the house and you're like, oh, I'll paint all the rooms and there's one room that you're like, yeah, I'm not going to bother with that room. It's incomplete. The house is not complete, right? And I feel like this is your internal house. It's like clearing all your chakras, but leaving one uncleared, okay, which is the heart here. And I say it's the heart because we're talking about the ring fingers, which represents marriage. And so they're not even the ring fingers. Why do I think they were the ring fingers? interesting that was meant to come out that was totally meant to come out but i still stick with what i'm saying here you can't there's something you're holding on to there's something you're holding on to that you're not letting go of and it's important for you to let go because what happens is to open up completely you need to separate these hands right because at the moment they're protecting you right and you're holding on so you need to let go, let go and open up here. Okay, so the last card we have here is Archangel Raphael. Provider of healing for mind, body and spirit. Perfect. Call on Archangel Raphael to help you with this, Leo. But tell me more about Archangel Raphael, please. Okay. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Oh yeah, thorns. Yeah, see, look. Look at the thorns. Look at this rose bush here, but look at all the thorns, right? That have grown as this rose bush has, has grown. It reminds me of the tree here, right? Fruit of knowledge, right? There's been there's been hardship along the way, more than hardship. It's been rough. Rough as and yet. There's still this beauty that blossoms out of all this. And this is what is worth continuing for. Okay. The sacral chakra, this needs work for you. Okay. Um, yeah. There's definitely a connection here. A connection which is um, it's being divinely orchestrated I want to say but also something that you agreed to the tree remembers 
the tree remembers. There's something here that is growing um, and it has been growing and there's been some really hard times along the way um, and this could even represent your entire life here Leo um, but I want to say there's just this step that remains in the shadows that is important for you to let go of okay um, so that you can so that you can be surrounded by those who see your value, who see your worth, um, who allow you to stand in your power and shine, okay? Um, and in order for you to fully accept that into your life, uh, there's some letting go and some healing that still needs to be done. So, yeah, keep going, though. Keep going, because it looks to me like you're on a really good path and you've been doing what you need to do. So don't stop doing what you need. You have been doing. Um, keep going. I want to say, Leo, don't give up, okay? If it feels like it's like, what's the point? I've been doing this forever, and it's I still got to do stuff. Please don't give up, okay? Because there's only... There's only one or two more steps that you need to make. So, yeah, keep going. Okay, Leo, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.